What is happening, YouTube? Blair McKeithen here with AmateurGolf.com. I'm chasing the morning sprinklers out here at Steel Canyon Golf Course to try out the Adele SMS and SMS Pro irons. I have my GC3 out. Gonna check out some numbers, play with the weights. These are very uh, cool looking irons. Uh, they have driver technology in them, and I think it's gonna be really cool to see how much changing these weights around can affect the ball flight and the numbers. I'm out here on hole eight on the vineyard course. 185 yards away, I have two seven irons going to see the numbers and maybe this might be your next great purchase for you to better your golf game. Starting with the SMS Pro here, we're gonna hit three shots in the neutral setting and then start messing around with the weights. So 185 yards is my stock seven iron. It is a little early. I'll be surprised if I get that far. Pretty good. Oh, 180 yard carry. Um, that's pretty good right off the bat, seven iron distance. That one is really nice. The second ball carried 182. We're looking at 6,600 spin, which is a little bit lower spin that I want. It's in a little bit lower launch, but uh, the carry distance is right where I need it. That was a little bit off the toe, but I really like how that reacted. Yeah, another 182 yard carry. SMS iron here. I expect this to go a little bit farther. Um, as far as looks, this looks really nice for uh, one of these more of the game improvement clubs. This is about as good as it looked for, for me personally. So immediately notice that the launch rises it goes much higher than the pro well i carried 190. <laughs> that's a long seven iron so we're already seeing a, a big difference an eight yard difference in in length this regular sms doesn't fly much different than my current seven iron this is a much nicer launch i think another 190 so very consistent numbers here Beauty, 192. Lower spin, but higher launch. 6,300 spin compared to 6,660 with the SMS Pro. So it's more or less what I expected out of this iron is to see less spin, higher launch, and so the ball will go farther. This is definitely uh, for a more mid-range handicap, maybe a five to 15, but I could also see a scratch player playing an iron like this. The head shape and the look is really nice. and. I'm gonna mess with the, the weights here, and if that's something that can give me maybe a little bit more spin, I can really see a better player playing with these irons. This is pretty cool. <laughs> it comes with this uh, really cool pack that has all these different weights, so you can really customize exactly what you're looking for. The weights range from eight all the way down to two. The reds being the heavier one, as you can see in the center here, it's got the red weight. So I'm gonna switch these up a little bit. I'm going to put this heavy weight into, whoops, into the heel. Depending on your in your shot pattern, or swing pattern especially, like if you hit, if you come from the inside the way I do, a lot of times having the heavy weight on the toe doesn't necessarily promote a fade like it would on a driver or uh, someone who swings out to in or neutral. Because uh, when you swing in, the toe likes to go down and when the weight's on the toe, it keeps the club face open. That being said, the opposite is in play for me, I think. If I put this thing on the heel, I reckon that the toe would not turn as much, and I should be able to see more of a straighter ball flight with this. All right, sticking with the standard SMS, let's see if we can gain some spin off of the adjustment I just made. I think we might have gained some spin. Oh, we did. Wow, it literally just jumped up to 67. That's awesome. So that's back. That's basically where the pro was when it comes to spin rate. You know, what I really like about this club is that how well the miss hits are. I hit that slightly on the toe, flew perfect, carried 191 yards and just had Still kept the spin rate up and only went down to 165 or 6500. That's fantastic. 
Let's see if I can uh, get a draw instead. This isn't the pin for a draw. This will be a nice test. If it overdraws, then we know we have, a, have an issue. Oh. I tell you what. This is as good of a game improvement iron that I've ever hit. Like, it, it looks good. It doesn't have much offset. It feels like a player's iron, but in a improvement iron body. Fantastic. SMS Pro forged iron. Now I want, I have it on the same settings as what I just had where the heavyweight is on the heel. As you can see with the shot dispersion, how much it tightened up with the, with the regular SMS. I, I imagine it'll do the same with this club as well. I'm hoping to see a little bit more spin out of this though. Ah, slight pull actually. Maybe the, the weighting of this iron is, um, oh yeah, that was actually pretty low, pretty low spin that one too. That was only a little bit over 6,000. So that's interesting. So this might be, uh, due to the weighting, this might actually make the, the toe turn over a little bit. Oh, that's better. I slightly pushed it, but that one had a lot more spin on it. Yep, 7149, 185 carry. So that's awesome. That is, to me, the kind of spin that I would like to see on my seven iron. So that first one, I'll just chalk it up to a pretty bad miss hit to have that much of a difference when it comes to spin. So I'm gonna try to draw this one here. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> awesome stuff. That one actually jumped to 193 carry, 6,200 spin. I mean, with a draw, you expect to see lower spin rate. But man, that both of these are fantastic. But you know, I'm going to give the edge to the regular SMS. I think that that club works for everybody. Um, whereas this will be solely for better players. It is, it is a better looking iron, the SMS Pro. It's forged, it's beautiful. But I, I like the performance of that SMS. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Special thanks to Adele for sending in these seven irons. They're cool. they nice enough to put the X100 shafts in them, the ones that I played to give this the best review possible. This is a very innovative iron perhaps the most I've seen. I mean, just the fact that you have this much weight dispersion be able to change and alter basically the ball flight. As you saw, the numbers changed dramatically by just moving the weight to the heel for me. The, moving the weight to the toe might be best for you. Um, keeping it in the center might be best for you, but it's fun to be able to have a club so versatile to be able to test it out. So special thanks to Adele for sending them in. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Always remember, keep on grinding.